Hello everyone, Jake here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Wolfsburg Warriors. I'm going to apologise massively for the delay since this episode and the last episode. Reason being, if you haven't seen on the little message that I put out on YouTube, I don't know how good they are. I don't know how many of you guys see it, but um, I had COVID. I've still technically got it, so I'm still technically recovering. Um, so if I'm a bit short of breath at any point, so I do apologise for that. But you might hear my voice sounds a little bit different. I still have it, but I was really bad with it a few days ago. So that is why... I haven't been recording, but I'm ready now. I'm ready to record, and we've got a lot to get into today with this Wolfsburg side. We're flying high, and this could potentially be the team, I think, that wins us the Champions League. But who knows? First of all, we've got to get out the group stage. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Wolfsburg Warriors. I'm very excited to be back. As you can probably tell, I'm a bit more energetic than usual and that's because all of my energy is coming out now. It's been stored away for about four days while I've been in bed, basically struggling to breathe, struggling to do anything. It, it's horrible. It was really horrible, particularly the first couple of days of it. And, uh, but yeah, it, it, was, it was a bit of a tough time, but we are back. And what's not been a tough time, and I've segued this quite nicely, what's not been a tough time is managing Wolfsburg. This season so far has gone very well. We're already in November, getting towards the end of December. I mentioned we'd skip quite far ahead in the last episode, and we, we have today, and we'll catch up on everything in a few minutes. But before we do, I have to ask you guys, I know you probably hate it by now, but if you can hit the like button, it really, really does help in the performance of these videos. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. My aim is, and I'm saying this out loud now, I don't think I've done it yet, but I'm thinking 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. On our current growth, it will be just about possible if you cash in the point that when FM23 comes out, there's that little boost you get for the first month or so on YouTube because more people are searching it up and that kind of thing. So that is the aim. If you want to help us towards that target, I'd greatly appreciate it. We have actually got another one-off rebuild coming out soon. It's been a while since I did my last one, but they always perform really nicely and help get some new audience into the channel. So hit the notification bell. So yeah, drop that one in there as well. Hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss it. So we're playing Shakhtar today in the Champions League. It is, of course, a competition we're trying to win, the competition win, which will end the series when we eventually get there. I'm hoping this year will be the one. Um, the Shakhtar game is basically to decide if we go through as top in the group, it's kind of already guaranteed, but you know, it's, it's a way to flex our muscles, flex our legs in a game like this. And Shakhtar aren't bad at all and have given us a bit of trouble in the last time we played them. But let's recover, let's recover, let's, let's reco recap. I was going to say recu, recover, re recap is the word I'm looking for. What's happened since you last saw us? And we'll start off with the form. Now you saw us first game in the Bundesliga season, was it? Union Berlin, Marco hat trick potentially. Not sure if that was the exact one, but if it was, what a star Mokoko is, scoring three goals in one game. It might have actually been that one that I showed, or maybe it was Magdeborg. Who cares? Anyway, we've been good. We've uh, not dropped too many points at all. We've got a draw against Leipzig and a draw against Hoffenheim, and I started to worry a little bit because it was just after the match engine update, and I was like, oh no, everything's gone wrong. The, the team that I brought, I spent 300, 400 million, whatever it was, and it's not worked, but thankfully, we've been pretty good, pretty consistently winning. Um, even if it's not by a significant margin in many of these games. But as you can see on the right, it's a lot of our new players that are getting us the goods. Malcoco's actually been out injured for a while, and today will be one of his first matches back. He had a broken wrist. I had the option to play through it with him, but I, I gave him the option. I gave him the little protective stuff, but I didn't want to use him while injured just in case, because I don't want to break a guy who's only 19 years of age or whatever it is. So um, yeah, he'll be back now, hopefully ready to fire as he was doing. But yeah, we beat Juve in our Champions League group, and overall it's just been plenty of wins, no losses yet this season. We are doing very nicely. Um, Champions League-wise, we have qualified already, so that's great. If we win against Shakhtar, we could potentially guarantee ourselves top spot. Maybe not. We've got Juve in the next one, but we are at home to them, so I think we will be fine, but at least we've qualified, and that is the main thing. Um, the Pokal we're still in. We're now in a bit further in the third round, I think now. Yeah, there you go. We're playing Paderborn, so that should be another uh, win into the next round of a draw without even playing our best players. And the Bundesliga, we're doing well. Dortmund keeping up with us. Um, so are Freiburg, Bayern Munich are somewhere down there, 10 points away already. But we are currently top, 12 games played, 32 points picked up with some of our players on fire, really. Everyone in the squad is contributing. I'm really enjoying everyone here at the minute. If we sort by average match rating, we can see Bellingham has been great. The new guy at right back, Wrestler, the 18-year-old Croatian, is an absolute superstar, I'm telling you guys. Um, the fact that he can come in and we don't even notice Baku being out is a major, major plus 
in this guy's eyes for an 18 year old. Um, a surprise inclusion was, like I said, Makoko was out injured. So every now and then this guy came on, Alexi Haino. He was a player from Wolfsburg's development squad when we started the save. And he's been doing great, to be perfectly honest with you. He's scored a few goals and um, looks pretty good on the pitch. He's just a finisher with a decent bit of pace. And for some reason in the match engine, he scores goals. And as you can see, one game, four off the bench. And he has scored three, assisted two with a 7.48. He's very good. Baku's been good. Daviv has been good as our backup centre-back option. Malcoco, Lacroix, Arnold, Kessie, Nico, Sesco, Piccoli's even got seven goals this season already um, in only 10 starts. So everyone is doing great. The only worries I'd be looking at so far this season is Alfonso Subval Vader, who is our backup attacking midfielder behind Florian Wirtz. Attribute-wise, he should be amazing. Ability and potential-wise, we're obviously going to keep hold of him. Six appearances for Colombia at 18. A wonder kid with plenty of potential, good with both feet, but for some reason, currently just not cutting it when he plays for us so far. He looks very out of place, but hopefully, I mean, he's young. He'll get there with time. Florian Wirtz didn't look great when we first bought him. He might just need a bit of time to settle into the team. Maybe that's one of the things we're seeing here. There you go. He hasn't got very good consistency. Maybe that is why he is so rubbish. Maybe we'll sell him on for a profit in the future. But either way, £1 million for a player who's now valued at £70 million, despite being pretty crap for us so far, to be honest, is a good bit of business in my eyes. Finances are doing great. Uh, who else should we talk about? Kozlowski. Um, wanted to leave to join a bigger club. It's made him slightly unhappy. He did want to go to Man City or PSG. And you can see PSG are still interested. We said no in the transfer window. We've kept hold of him. And his performances have just slowed down a little bit compared to what they used to be. So maybe he's had his head turned. I don't know. I still see him as a big part of the squad. So hopefully we can sort that out going forward. I've also brought this guy into the first team setup. Callum Hallard. He's played a few cup games every now and then. And one of the things I've noticed with him is not that, yes, he's a very good young player with plenty of potential and some great attributes to play the box-to-box -box midfielder role in the future. But he's actually got the consistent performer thing on his coach report, which means he must have a high level of consistency, which makes me think he is going to be a superstar going forward. But yeah, the team's firing on all fronts. I've got transfer plans going forward as well, things that I want to do with the squad. I feel like we caught up on everything before. We didn't have any extra transfers that I can think of, but I have got a few lined up in my head that I want to do. Um, a lot of you guys have said that the squad looks great and pretty much complete, but the one place you'd pick up a player in would be the goalkeeping position. I'm starting to agree with you. Kenneth Wynn is still my guy. He's still going to be the guy long term. He is a lot better than any of you guys might give him credit for based on his attributes. He's 18 years of age, this goalkeeper, and he plays out of his skin in the match engine. I can't describe it. Um, and he's still got potential to get way, way better. You can see his average match ratings there. They're very good. If we compare them to Cohen Castiles, who, by the way, has never put a foot wrong for me, this guy. He is still very good at 32. Um, but he's getting on in age. And also his ability rating is starting to decline to the point where one of the players that we've got on loan, where is he? Here he is, Mamar Dashvili. We sent him out on loan to Hamburg in the Bundesliga this year. And he's having a great year out for them. And he's developing very nicely, getting a lot of consistent football. So... We've got a few goalkeeping options, but there's the opportunity maybe uh, in the window to sell Castiles, bring in someone like Onana, but then it's only going to be a few years of them and then I'll replace them with Kenneth Wynn anyway. So do we spend the money when Castiles is not just a decent keeper already, but a very good uh, leader in the squad and that kind of thing? Plenty of things to weigh up. But yeah, I just want to say a big thank you for all of you for hanging on this long into the series, for all the support. I really do appreciate it. The last episode hit 1,000 views in the first couple of days, which is nuts for this stage of the series and was actually uh, two out of 10 in the YouTube rankings, which ranks like your last 10 videos uh, compared to the others. And this was second out of all of them uh, in terms of video performance, which is pretty crazy considering you'd assume in an episodic series, it would go down, down, down as people leave each episode. But no, you guys seem to keep coming back whenever there's transfers, a lot of you guys get on board. So maybe that was it. But yeah, um, just a massive thank you. I will shut up now and we'll be able to see this nice game against uh, Shakhtar. I am going to have the videos more regularly now. Trust me, I've said it before, but now, from now until the end of a Wolfsburg series, providing I don't get COVID, it's going to be fairly regular. Every couple of days, every three days, whatever it might be, we'll get the videos out and get this series done with. Not as soon as possible, because I'm not trying to rush it, but you get what I mean. We should probably have it done by now. But the team we're going with today, firstly, we've got Kenneth Wynn in goal. We've got Wrestler at right back with Lacroix, Gavardiol, Nets, Nico Bellingham, Kessie, Wurtz, Sesco, and Malcoco. That still leaves the likes of 
Kozlovsky, Holzhek, Sepulveda, Shawameni on the bench, Piccoli, and Baku's got a little injury, so when we don't need to use him, we're not going to. And look at all them players that can't even make the bench. So much quality there. Um, that is interesting, actually. Astro Vanks, last time you saw him, had gone out on loan. Um, he requested to be recalled from Sporting straight away, um, and we did that because basically they hadn't used him at all. Like, they were putting him in their under-19s, under-18s, whatever it was, which made no sense to me. He is a cracking player, but I'm happy with the team we've got today. You have selected two... So yes, I know that. Um, I, I do know that. Don't worry. I'm not I'm not an idiot. I've, I've got the subs that I want. Don't you worry, football manager. I'm not that dumb. But here we go. We are playing Shakhtar, who... Um, yeah, they gave us a bit of a fight, actually. I can't remember the exact scoreline off the top of my head, but they've got a good team um, at this point in the save. You can see Kieran Trippier... Um, they've even got Edward up top, who is a very, very good goal scorer in Football Manager, and particularly in this save, he's one of the best goal scorers in world football. There's no one here in Shakhtar Stadium, though. That's interesting. Literally, no one has shown up. Um, but yeah, if I, the Trippier is an interesting one. They've got Horta is a good player, but Edward, if we look at him, you can see we're classing him as a four and a half star striker here at Wolfsburg. So he's obviously classed as better than all the strikers we've got. They actually paid seventy three million pounds for him from Crystal Palace, so it's a lot of money to spend on a guy who scored five goals a season before, <laughs> um, but yeah, Edward is playing for Shakhtar, and he's very good for them, Juve look like they're already off to a winning start, I believe, yeah, there you go, they're beating Apoel 1-0, they were the other team in our Champions League group, the team that have basically been the battering ram of everyone else, but Shakhtar away is not an easy game, if we don't win it, I'm not going to be overly bothered, but hopefully he gets to see a chance, because we're 30 minutes in, and nothing has happened. I've talked everybody up at this stage. You'd hope we'd get something out of it. I was just looking in the bottom right here and thinking, oh, I, I don't recognise some of these players I've picked. That's the Shakhtar team, Jake. There you go. That's the Wolfsburg team. This is our guys. We're playing better than them. We're outperforming them XG and possession-wise and all that good stuff. I, I assume possession, yes, possession. But um, no goals as of yet. I have noticed this tactic has been a little less effective um, in terms of goal scoring, it's probably defensively stronger. But in terms of goal scoring, not as effective since the winter update. And we're 45 minutes in there. And despite a good few shots and a good few shots on target and a fairly high XG rating for one half, we have had no chances on goal, no highlights to speak of. And this is going to be a very boring episode unless someone kicks it up a notch and lets us see something. Everyone cross your fingers. Because we're 60 minutes in now, it's a bit worrying. I guess we make some subs because clearly these guys aren't going to do anything. I'll bring on Piccoli, who's had a good season so far. I'll take Kessie off for shower many. Um, and then, what, Nico? Nico have been given a bit more game time too because he got a bit upset that he wasn't playing all that regularly. But when he has played, Nico is fantastic. So maybe he is even the guaranteed starter in this midfield. But look at all them shots. How's none of these been a highlight yet? Come on. This is going to be a joke. We might have to show the next game after this if you don't get any highlights from this one. We've got 10 minutes to go. We're not seeing a whole game without highlights on a 1.63 XG. We've got a highlight. We've got a highlight, ladies and gentlemen. Can we end it with... A... Oh, don't you dare. Right, we're okay. We're okay. I thought we were just giving it straight to them. Piccoli wins it. The target forward that he is. Lays it off to Malcoco. Malcoco on his left foot. He scored. He's back from injury. He scored his goal. It was brilliant target forward play by Piccoli twice there, holding the ball up and just giving Mokoko the freedom of the pitch to run into and score. We do win 1-0. We do get a highlight. We do get a goal. I mean, some of you guys in the comments are probably raging by the fact that I picked this as the game. I was expecting more than one highlight. I do apologize. We've got two highlights. You guys have been blessed today. Really just blessed with some amazing football. But if we do concede... I'll be furious. I, I want you guys to watch football, but not when it's Shakhtar on the ball. Here we go. Shalmany gets the ball to Kozlowski. Kozlowski's going to probably play through Rezler, who is making a brilliant run. For, no, he's just going to stand still. This is what I mean. He's, he's had his head turned. He's just sat there, and he's, he's sat there thinking about Man City and PSG and not the game. I know he was offside there, but what a save by Kenneth Wynn, pushing it around the post. These last few minutes have been a whirlwind. Have three highlights in five minutes. Who would have ever have guessed it, guys? Who would have guessed it? Here's Resler, gets to the byline, puts the ball in. It's cleared by Solomon. Solomon out to Nets. Nets picks it up, finds Shower Many. The, the luxury we have of bringing a player like him off the bench, by the way. What a squad depth we've got now. Luca Nets has his ball blocked by Mudrik, who is, in this save, a very, very good like 16-year-old regen, I believe, breaking records for like the youngest Ukrainian goal scorer. We've had our eyes on him. That's why I know him. Piccoli should be scoring there past Trubin, but he's offside, so we'll let him off. I don't know what this highlight was, but I'll take it because it's something to watch. 
Are they going to treat us to four highlights? Who knows? No, we're just getting the three. I, I, can't, I can't spoil you guys with more than three highlights, can we? Let's just quickly have a look at that player that played uh, Mudrick. Here he is. Sure, that's him. No, I'm obviously wrong. I'm obviously thinking of someone else because he's a 23-year-old player. There's a Ukrainian called Mudrick that we are looking at, basically, um, in this save as a player to potentially buy. But it's, but it's not him. Anyway, there we go, guys. We have won. We have won 2-0. Uh, 1-0. So we've won 1-0. Juve also won. So we've got one game left at home to Juve, which will decide who is top of the group. But we're already through. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything there, I think. Then we'll be in the knockout stages. We'll have a January transfer window. I'll skip all of that and you'll see it all in one video. I'm trying to get things done quicker. Um, the fact that we're this far into FM. This is my second series of FM so far. And we're on number, what, like 15, 16? I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's not really good enough on my end, is it? I should be producing more produ producing more content. There you go. Um, I think I'm feeling a bit insane, to be honest, with this disease in me. I think it's took away all my brain cells. I don't know, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed a bit more of a, the chaotic way I've recorded this because usually I speak and then I think, right, I'm going to have to cut that. I'm going to have to cut that. Even now I'm waffling. I don't know what I'm on about, but usually I have to cut things loads of times. I feel like this episode's been quite free flow. I haven't had to, I won't have to cut too many times in edit. I wouldn't have thought, but I'm short of breath. You guys are probably bored of watching me. Um, yeah, there we go. Champions League, we're qualified. We'll be into the next hat of that. We'll be in the knockouts. We're going to get at least to the final this year. Guarantee you it all. Um, Bundesliga, we're smashing. The Cups, we're smashing. We've already won the Super Cup. I'm calling it now, guys. Quadruple. We're going to win the quadruple this year. We've got the squad to do it. Our backup squad will easily win the Pokal. I'm not overconfident. I'm not overconfident, no. I'm just, I'm just, I just know my boys. I know my boys will bring us that glory. The quadruple is coming to Wolfsburg. You heard it first and you'll see it in about three episodes time. Hopefully, who knows? But anyway, thank you guys for watching and thank you for all the support. I do genuinely mean it. Um, you're all amazing. The way this channel is going, even when it slows down a little bit and then picks up a little bit and slows down. It's just weird that there's people out there, you guys who watch my, I'm not calling you weird. It's just weird to me to think that there's people out there who watch my videos. And sometimes it will come up with a stat on my little dashboard page, which will say like, um, you know, 25,000 hours of your videos have been watched or, um, you know, you've now had 100,000 video views and stuff like that. It makes you think, if I was to take every unique viewer of one of these videos, you know, like we could fill with the people that watches every one of these Wolfsburg episodes. In theory, you could fill like a fairly big hall with like these 500, 600 people. You know, it's like I'm doing this, an assembly at school or something for a whole school. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about, but basically it's really cool that any of you actually watch and care about all this. So thank you so, so much. I'll try and be a bit more regular with the content, but yeah, you, you guys are all awesome. Check out the Discord down below if you want to get involved a little bit more on a more regular basis. I'm going to look to expand that a bit more going forward because it really has grown almost out of my control now. So thank you guys so, so much. I've said that a million times. I'm going to go. Right. I was going to say thank you guys again. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye bye.